In other news today, as technology companies grow across the Silicon Slopes, the Women Tech Council is identifying and recognizing the women leading and shaping technology in Utah and around the world. And ahead of this afternoon's awards, which are going on right now, I got a chance to meet some of the creators of emerging technologies, educational leaders, and executives trailblazing new companies and industries. Hi everyone, I'm here at the Grand America Hotel for the Women Tech Awards, the 11th year in Sydney Tetro here from Women Tech Council is here with us. Thank you so much. It is amazing. I cannot believe you're in your 11th year. We can't believe we're in the 11th year either, but what it really shows is how much great talent we have here in the state. And the opportunity to recognize this talent is what helped grows the recognition of the great women we have and the need that we have for so many more women in technology. Not to mention the fact that these women can gather together, especially today, and talk about um, you know, the tech industry and, and not only that, but find mentors. That's right. Mentors, you know, we'll have a significant number, about 40% of the audience will actually be men. So a lot of this too is about our joint conversation, right? Because it's together that we expand the community. And so it's this great platform to recognize the talent, increase networks, and really change where we're headed in the future. Okay, so let's talk about some of the people that you're recognizing Please. today. They're amazing women. 17 women, three student finalists. We have a couple of them here with us today. So we have Jennifer, she's the CIO Come of Come on Science. over here, Jennifer. Hi. And she is awesome. And she's one of our award recipients this year. Well, let's talk about- our I should say. Well, congratulations Thank to you, you, first of all. Um, let's talk about what the Women Tech Council has done for women, particularly in tech. The Women's Tech Council has elevated the understanding of how many amazing women we have in our state who are smart, creative, and they have the ability to make a big impact and grow, whether it's in their own companies or even starting their own companies. And so that is something that, of course, we are highlighting today um, for the awards. But also, you have someone else here who started her own company. Exactly. Come, so we have Andrea. Hi. Come here, Andrea. Hi. Hi. She's CEO of Streamly. She just started her own company and she's launching into it, which is amazing. It's been such a blast. It's been uh, kind of a whirlwind. I mean, there's lots of ups and lots of downs along the way, but the Women Tech Council and just the support system behind what they're doing um, really gives women a platform to tell us that we can do hard things. Um, the life of a CEO, the life of a startup founder is incredibly difficult. The life of a female founder is even more difficult. Um, but I'm just so honored to be here today and just, I'm. So blessed to have the support system we have here and you know be surrounded by these powerful women. Now when you talk about support, tell me exactly like what are the, some of the things that you're getting from the Women Tech Council? Because we talk about it all the time, we do. but I want to hear it from you. Yeah, I mean like Cindy said, there's a lot of um, men in the audience as well, right? And there's a lot of people that really are cheering you on. I, like I mentioned, every single day is a new challenge. You get rejection after rejection. Um, but you know, having a whole army of people telling you you can do it, giving you resources that you didn't know were out there, uh, and really just helping you in the day-to-day -day of startup world and so that I mean that's kind of what we're working with here at the Women Tech Council. Well Jennifer, Andrea, Sydney, thank you all so much uh, for being here and good luck to you today because I know you're a finalist. Um, it's really exciting. Again the 11th year here so congratulations. Thank you. By the way, um, she was just telling me, Andrea, there, that she was just rejected from a venture capitalist firm. And I'm like, you know what? You go, girl. I, I think you're going to be just <laughs> fine. You are going to be fine. Don't you let them get you down. Oh, that's amazing. We'll be right back here on the Browser 5.0.